Hey, what's up everybody? Today, I wanna to talk about assuming the sale and the power of assumption. Especially when we're selling full cycle, final expense life insurance over the phone, you guys are gonna realize that attitude and the one call close all go hand in hand with assuming the sale, okay? So I wanna show you guys how to take a prospect or a client, and I wanna show you three main principles in this process that you must understand going into every single uh, every single phone call, right? The first one we're going to talk about is attitude, okay? What your attitude is determines your altitude. I'm sure some of you guys have heard that, okay? The next one is a little bit of a marketing piece. It's going to be your point of awareness, okay? Where is the client's point of awareness in that product and how much they need your product, okay? The third thing we're going to look at is the outcome. What's the outcome that we want, okay? Whether that's getting a referral, whether that's following up, calling a spouse, or eventually, essentially, closing that deal, all right? So let's jump right in. Look, attitude, okay? Everybody can agree with me who's watching this video. You have an option, you have a choice. When you make a dial or when you receive an inbound lead, right? The way you answer the phone is gonna determine the energy in that entire conversation. I'm sure some of you guys can agree with that, right? So think about this for a second. If we start at point zero and you start your level, your day off on a low level frequency, right? Maybe you just got up on the wrong side of the bed and you answer the phone, ring, ring. Hey, this is Anthony in the final expense department. Uh, you know, who do I have the pleasure of speaking with today? No one wants to talk to that guy, okay? Versus someone who's excited that you stopped in today. I'm gonna help you, okay? Even if you don't know it, which we'll get into next, point of awareness. Hey, thanks for calling the final expense department. My name is Anthony. How can I help you today, right? So depending on how you answer the phone and that attitude is essentially gonna move you into your point of awareness, right? Now, some of you guys might be thinking, well, I'm not a really high energy, high level kind of guy when I get on the phones. Hey, bullshit, dude, stop it. Stop it right now because that's a limiting belief that you have and it's gonna hurt you in the long run. If you could choose between a high level and a low level, always start on a high level and then mirror and match your client, okay? If you jump on that phone and you go, hey, this is Anthony with the final expense department, who do I have the pleasure of speaking to? And the other guy goes, oh, it's Ronnie. Okay, fine. Okay, got it, how's it going today, Ronnie? I'm glad I can answer the phone. Now you see how I just mirrored and matched them? All we're trying to do is progress that conversation and not be confrontational with them. That's what's gonna lead us into the point of awareness, okay? So once we get that level across, we're gonna start probing and asking questions. Now, I wanna keep this topic relevant throughout the entire video, assuming the sale, but the whole time in our mind, they're gonna buy the freaking product, okay? They're gonna buy that service, and ultimately, they're gonna buy from me because we're going to bring them to a level of point of awareness whether they know it or not, okay? That's just what it is. So now, we're gonna ask them, hey, what got you calling in today? Okay, it doesn't matter what got you calling in, I'm thinking in my head, because you're gonna get a policy. Okay, and if you can't, I'm gonna help someone that you know. Just always have that running, always have that running in the background, right? So what's their point of awareness? And how does our assumption bring us to that point of awareness? Well, this is how we're gonna overcome any objection and any smoke screen thrown our way. It's because we know that they need it ultimately and that they're stuck in patterns that are reflective, or I'm sorry, reflexing, like they're, they're reactive. Okay, that's the word I'm looking for, they're reactive, right? Hey, I'm not going to cut any of that crap out either. How, the point of awareness is going to determine where we need to go in the conversation. And if we're assuming that sale, we're going straight into the application. Okay, so let me give you an example of that. When they say, oh, I don't, I don't know exactly what I don't know. Okay, now you have the ability to stop the mirror and matching and then allow them to tap into your energy and bounce it back up to a high level, right? But if they just had someone pass away, okay, and their energy is that they need somebody there with you, we're gonna mirror and match and be that guy. We're gonna be that person, right, for them. And then we're gonna bring them to a point of awareness with the application, the processes, what this policy is gonna include, what it's not gonna include. You're gonna give them your phone number. You're setting them up so that they don't have any objections by the time we get to the application, okay? The third thing is the outcome, which is ultimately, guys, it's gonna be to send a policy to the house. Whether or not they're taking a payment today doesn't matter. It does not matter, okay? We just need to get them to the application 
we need to get a policy. We need to get information sent out to their house for them to review, okay? It's very, very simple. Once we bring them to the point of awareness, if they have a need for the product, we're going to the application. We aren't waiting. We're not looking for permission to move to the application. And this is the whole point of assume, right? If you're asking somebody permission, is that assumptive? You're not really assuming, you're just probing. You're trying to find their point of awareness and how they need it. So we're already gonna assume that they need it, right? So how does that sound? What does that look like? Well, Miss Mary, it looks like everything's in order. The next step that we need to do is go ahead and open the application, get you pre-qualified by the carrier, and this will just take a second. How do you spell your first and last name? Simple. Guys, you guys are overcomplicating things. You're making it make too much sense, right? And then you're waiting for permission to move forward. And that sounds like this. Well, we went over this option. It sounds like this option is best in your budget. Does that make sense to you? Like, is that okay? What do you think about that? Are you ready to move forward today? Do you need to talk this over with a spouse? Err, uh, hey, cut that shit out, man. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're doing a disservice by doing that. They don't need to think about it. And if they do, they still don't have enough information to make a clear decision. And it's our job to simply do one thing. All we need to do is get that policy sent to their house so they can review it with their spouse, review it with whoever they need, get a tangible item in front of them. Doesn't cost anything today. How do you spell your first and last name? Hey Mary, looks like everything we went over made sense. It checked out. We covered this, this, and this. Next, all we have to do is get you approved by the carrier. Take about five seconds. Does your name require a middle initial? Hey guys, 512-649-4202. Love to connect and see what you guys have any value to bring to this as well. Thanks.